In this video, we're going to look at how to use prismatic constraints to make a sliding puzzle. In my game, I want my players to push these minecarts to make a path to the stairs, and keep in mind I've disabled jumping to make this puzzle non-trivial. And while I could rig up these wheels to spin and do some tricks to make sure that they stay on the tracks, I'm going to make this simple by using prismatic constraints. Now a prismatic constraint forces two attachments to always be on one line. They can move along the line, like a cart on a track, but they can't move side to side. Let's take a look at how to set this up by adding a prismatic to this cart. Now I'm going to start off by going to the Model tab, clicking on the Create dropdown, and then selecting Prismatic. Then I'm going to click on the front of my cart to place the first attachment, and then click on the ground. Now notice how this makes sure that the attachments are pointed the same way. Now I need to move the attachment from the ground up to be at the same height as the one on the cart. Remember, a prismatic constraint makes it so the attachments have to be on the same line. And this line has to be pointed along their axis. So I'm going to select the attachment on the ground, and use the Move tool to raise it up. Now notice that if I then move the attachment along its axis, I can see this green line. This means that the attachments are lined up and can move correctly. And now we can go into the game and push the minecart. And because it's on a prismatic, it can only move along that axis that we set earlier. I won't be able to push it side to side. Now I can hit stop and quickly rig up the other carts. Now keep in mind I made my carts at very specific heights. You may find in your game when making prismatics like this that the attachments don't line up correctly. You may have to adjust the move increments to something more precise like say 0.2 or 0.1 to get your attachments to line up correctly. 